Hi, it's Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. This is a battle on the Muruvanka map, and we're following Tello from Pity Clan, and he's in the new tier 10 Italian heavy tank, the Rhinoceronte. Now, this has just come in in the new patch, 1.11.1, um, uh, as of today. So, we'll see how he performs in that. Now, this is <coughs> a brand new line of heavy tanks. Um, the first heavy tank was that was introduced was the Bisonte C45, and this tank has the same um, auto reloading mechanism as the Bisonte. So, if you want to find out more about that, you can um, see replays about that. I'll link uh, one below. Uh, what can we tell you about this tank while he's getting position? Um, the average damage uh, per shell is 490, and penetration of 268 millimeters. Um, and the reload time for the first shell is 15.37, then 16.64, then 19.58. So that, based on if you basically use all your shells at once. So if you just shoot one shell and then wait for it to reload, 15.37 seconds. If you shoot two shells, the first one reloads in 15.37, the sec second takes 16.64. So you can see he's trying to basically manage his shell so he doesn't lose the last one and basically not lengthen his time. Um, but uh, the overall DPM is only 1912, so a bit low for a tier 10. Uh, but it can deliver four shells in 12 seconds, so total clip potential there of um, over 1500. So, which is enough to take out a, an already wounded tank if you can get all your shells penetrated. Anyway, um, just moving to position here, he's managed to get uh, two hits in and done um, 1008, so just doing slightly better than the average there. Now he's found a Type 4, just aiming in carefully to the weak spots, and uh, just gets spotted there. And then it uh, looks like he rushed his next shot. Um, standard dispersion is 0.32, um, which is pretty good. Uh, so, reasonably accurate gun, and the aim time is 1.92. So, just uh, under half of the um, clip time. So, it does give you a little time to aim in, but um, it looks like the bloom on moving is affecting him. So, the um, sort of doubles the size of the reticle on moving and tank traverse um, on turret traverse it's actually lower so on moving it's 0.29 tank traverse 0.29 but the turret traverse is only 0.13 so if you're sitting still and just moving the turret uh, you get quite a lot less gun bloom so that might be something to consider um, standard shell is apcr with a velocity of 1452 which is also pretty good um, even for tier 10 and it carries a total of 33 shells. Now the premium round is a heat round. Let's have a quick look at that. It's got um, penetration of 325, so quite decent for tier 10. Not the highest, but certainly not the lowest. Uh, anyway, so that's as about as much as we can tell you about the tank at this time. Um, have a look at tanks.gg if you want to know. You can see it's got a fairly low profile, so have a quick look at that. It's got the, um, basically, looks like it's got the crew in the hull, so, or just on the side of the gun, but um, that's due to the auto loading mechanism there. So he's hiding here behind the ridge line. It's been hit by Artie already, so I'm not that happy. Two shells coming in, there are three Artie on each side. So this sounds like the Hong Kong server rather than the NZ, and it's, they've just taken out the spotting T49, so that allows them to push up and see if they can um, basically take on the Progetto 65 there, which is the top 10, uh, tier 10 um, medium tank on the um, Italian line. So there's the Progetto, and he's just coming around for a flanking shot. Jetto does 66 does a 65 does know he's there, gets one shot in. Does he need to fire the second one? No, he gets taken out by his team. So that allows him to save that second shell and just go straight onto the reload. 
of the final one. So it gives him a full clip as he comes back up here. And it might see Artie, or looks like they found a um, light tank. So he gets obviously spotted by one of the teammates and gets taken out. What has he found there? Yep, one of the Artie. So there goes the M53, M55. It takes out one, but he's been spotted. Will that draw attention from the other artillery? You can see he's wiggling around a bit to make it look like his direction's changing. And he's hoping it's gone dark, but um, anyway. So it didn't look like another artillery shot came in, but uh, nonetheless they're just being a bit careful. There was a leopard on the edge of the forest, um, definitely within uh, spotting range. And what can we tell you about the view range is 390 as base, which is yeah, not, not too bad um, for a tier 10. Okay, they found a T95 showing the side, so he's managed to penetrate that without a problem. So we'll look at the gun penetration. He's still firing standard rounds, by the way, all this time. Fires one there, doesn't seem to have done any damage. Uh, what else can we tell you? He's actually on a mission today. He's got um, HT7 which is to do 4,000 hit points of damage, and this is for the Object 260. And he's just, he's got the award already, so he's just improving the result. Um, so he needs to win the battle and to get honours, which is what he's looking to do, is to destroy four vehicles. So we'll check the progress of that as it goes on. Uh, but the main focus here is really just to introduce this new tank. So here he is, just sizing up the T29, but he's used all these rounds, so just waiting to deal with that. Puts him one through lower plate no problem still using the standard round there now the leopard one's been spotted can you get a shot in on that he needs to wait to reload first so he's just trying to relocate and there's a tortoise as well so the leopard's gone dark the tortoise is lit gets a nice shot there through the side does a reasonably high roll there 507 gets lit in the process so he's uh, just trying to get into cover and again, low profile of the tank means you can use this fairly slight berm here to um, to get cover, but not from artillery. So there's a uh, Conk GC, he's just hit him. And damaged his, dr uh, his uh, driver, it looks like. Yep, so he's got to wait because he's got his um, uh, health repair kit on, um, on cooldown at the moment. So you're going to struggle a bit in terms of movement with only a three man crew. And that spotted leopard gets two shots into him, but uh, doesn't have a third shot to, to play with there. So just pulls back, goes on reload, didn't get spotted, which is handy. And he's certainly reached his damage target now. He's got to nearly 5,000 hit points of damage, so that's his damage target done for the, uh, for the mission. Just another 30 something seconds for his um, health kit to uh, become available. And, uh, okay, there they've spotted T30. So he's tier 10 in, in a um, tier 8, tier 9 game. So there's a few hit points to gather in that respect if you're a tier 10. Both teams are capping now. Uh, is this going to produce an early end or are they going to get resets? The T30's come along, gets a nice shot there through the side of the turret. Gets his second shot in, but it doesn't penetrate. And he just pulls back again, trying to get his third sh three shells reloaded. Yeah, he's got the T30 respotted and takes him out with that. And both caps are still going. Is anyone coming back to reset on either side? Looks like the Progetto 66 is going down to Talo's cap and the Leopard's coming back on uh, Talo's side to, to try and reset it looks like. Is he going to get a shot in on him? Well there he is. Snaps a shot in but that misses. And he gets lit in the process. So Talo keeps moving but he has got all three shells on reload so Luckily, the enemy base has been reset. And he's just keeping that Leopard 1 lit. 
and but yeah that gives him a good amount of spotting damage right there um, so they are still one tank behind but there's only two tanks on each side and uh, two artillery on the other side and one on the Tello side so exactly closer than it looks but they do have to get back and keep resetting cap so one of the projectos has gone down and the remaining one is looks like he's trying to get in to light things up I should say actually he's got two tanks and a tank destroyer on his side and two tanks and two artillery on the other side so it's actually slightly in favour of Tello's team even though the numbers are down so as long as they can keep resetting which they've done Jetto's destroyed the 60 TP that was on on there and he's just coming up on the uh, rhinoceronte that's on the enemy side trying to get a shot in looks like he's just seeing the top of it that's going to be pretty risky well not risky but um yeah low probability shot to do that and he's just coming up on top of the berm to raise his level see if he can get a better shot yeah, manages to just flip one in, and that brings him down enough so that he gets killed by the Progetto 66. So that's um, got them back to, um, yep, only the artillery remaining. So this is pretty much a guaranteed win, but he still needs to kill another vehicle to reach his target. So given where the artillery is coming from, and look, he's just been spotted, so there must be someone nearby. Uh, he looks like he'll get another guaranteed kill there as long as he's close enough in fact there's the 212 so he just lines him up misses that one waits a bit gets more careful in fact he's been hit already so that takes him down that gives him his fourth kill so as long as they win that will give him his mission with the honors which is what he was looking to do and uh, the conch GC must be down here in the corner somewhere so just pushing it to get a little bit more damage he's up to six and a half K roughly of direct damage and there's the Kong GC, can he get a shot in? Yes he does, just feathers that in. That gives him a really good result there. So well done Tello, and let's go and have a look at the results. So that was an ace tanker game for Mello, uh, Pascucci's medal for the two Artis, uh, Confederate award, uh, high caliber award for doing the most damage, and the tank sniper award medal for um, doing the most damage for at least 300 meters distance. So he got four kills and 7448 direct damage, which uh, means he got a couple of blind shots in, uh, as well as 2257 assisted damage, um, which gives him 9.7K combined, which is a good, really good result there. Base experience of 1222, which is also excellent for tier 10, and uh, then supported by the Progetto's C65, 66, um, uh, and the enemy side, the Rhino on that side, only did 27-30 damage, um, but maybe didn't face as many enemies. He fired 23 shots, um, 20 of those hit, and 17 of those penetrated, and uh, he made a reasonable amount of credits as well. Um, so all, all run good result there for Tello. Thanks for the replay, and any comments below?